The synchroscope works based on AC motor in principle. It has two poles connected across any two faces, say red and yellow, of the incoming machine. The armature windings are supplied from the similar two faces, red and yellow, in the switchboard bus bars. The armature consists of two parallel windings. A resistance in connected in series with one half windings. An inductance is connected in series with the other half winding as shown. The inductance is provided to shift the current flow through itself by 90 degree relative to current in the resistance provided. These currents are fed to the two armature windings. They produce in them a rotating magnetic field in combination with the field in the poles. The polarity of the poles will alternate north-south according to changes in red and yellow faces of the incoming machine. The rotating field will react with the poles and rotate the rotor clockwise or anti-clockwise. Simultaneously, synchronoscope pointer rotates. The rotation of direction of the synchroscope pointer is determined by the speed or frequency of the incoming machine. If the pointer rotates in anti-clockwise direction, it means that the frequency of the incoming machine is less. If the pointer rotates in clockwise direction, it means that the frequency of the incoming machine is more. Command to close the incoming alternator breaker is given at about 11 o'clock position when the pointer is rotating in the clockwise direction. Command to close the incoming alternator breaker is given at about 1 o'clock position when the pointer is rotating in the anti-clockwise direction. This will make the machine getting connected to bus bars exactly when the pointer reaches the 12 o'clock position of the synchroscope.